Good morning, everyone. It is Holy Saturday morning, and I am super excited because we are one day closer to Pascha. Tonight, we're having Anastasi. And this morning's church service, we heard, and everyone was rejoicing and screaming and shouting, Anastasi, we're telling Jesus to resurrect, and we are looking forward to his joyous resurrection. And so in preparation for that joyous event, I wanted to share with you a very quick, easy, and fun activity. There's no scissors involved, no glue, no paper. We're not folding paper today. We are actually going to do some baking. Really fun, really quick, really easy. We're going to be making resurrection rolls or empty tomb rolls, depending on how um, you want to call it. They go by both names. And it's a great recipe and activity that you can do with your kids that shows the resurrection story. So we know that Jesus Christ has been in the tomb for three days. He's going to resurrect. When he gets out of the tomb, the tomb is empty. And so we're going to demonstrate that with rolls, making rolls where eventually they're going to be empty. And so in order to make these rolls, you will need some very simple ingredients. You're going to need eight marshmallows. You want to get the big ones, not the mini marshmallows. You need quarter cup or half a cup of butter, depending on how much butter you would want to put on the outside of the rolls. The more the better. Make sure it's melted butter. You need quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and crescent rolls, Pillsbury crescent rolls. If you don't have Pillsbury crescent rolls, you can just you'll use any type of dough to make your rolls. The first thing you need to do is to combine your sugar with your cinnamon. So I'm going to take my sugar and my cinnamon and I'm going to give them a quick mix just so that they are together nicely because when we're going to put in our marshmallow, we want it to get a nice coating of both the cinnamon and the sugar, okay? So I'll put this over to the side. We don't need this anymore. All right, so it's a three-step process. We have one, two, and three. So we're gonna take our marshmallow, which represents Jesus. It's white, which represents the purity of Jesus. It's also sweet, because Jesus is sweet. So we're gonna take our marshmallow, and we're gonna dip it into the melted butter. Let it get a nice soaking. And this represents the oils that they would put on dead bodies. So Jesus was the oil, we put the butter. And our final step is going to be to put the marshmallow that's been dipped in the butter into our cinnamon sugar mixture. You want to get a really nice coating on your marshmallow. And this represents the spices that they would put on the dead bodies. You can also look at it as this could represent all the sins that Jesus took with him. When he died on the cross, he took his sins with him. So all of this could be his sins. I'm sorry, not his sins, our sins. He has no sins. So you take your marshmallow after it's been dipped in the butter and in the cinnamon sugar, and you're going to place it in the center of one of your crescent rolls. After you place your marshmallow in the center of your roll, you are going to start to wrap your marshmallow uh, like Jesus was wrapped and placed in the tomb. So we're going to wrap it, and we're going to want to wrap very, very tightly. There's no way to wrap this perfectly because you're not really trying to wrap anything perfectly. You're just trying to get your marshmallow in there as best as possible, and you want to make sure that you seal it just the way the tomb was sealed on all edges. You don't want anything to be showing. You do not want to see your marshmallow because if you leave this open, your marshmallow will not do what it's supposed to do. So, so you make it look like a stone or a rock and you're just going to place it on your baking sheet with parchment paper. And so you make all of your rolls and then you're going to place them in the oven for 12 to 13 minutes, depending on your oven, at 350 degrees. So I've made my eight rolls, and now the final step before putting them in the oven is to take a brush and to put 
some butter on top of the rolls. So I'm just placing and lightly, gently putting some butter. You don't want to put too much. You just want to give it a nice golden glaze in the oven. There's really no meaning to that. I know there was a meaning for every other ingredient, but for this, it's just, just to look nice, taste better. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So my rolls are all nice and buttery and glazed and they're ready to go into the oven. Like I said, 350 degrees for 12 to 13 minutes, depending on your oven. It could be a little more, it could be a little less, but you'll have to keep an eye out and make sure you have it right. So we're back and our rolls are out of the oven. They actually were in for about 15 minutes. This time I wanted them to get a nice golden color as you'll see. And so I cut open one so we can see what happened to our marshmallow. So voila, the marshmallow is gone. The resurrection roll is empty. The tomb is empty. Our marshmallow, Jesus, is no longer in the tomb. He has risen. He is resurrected. This is a beautiful way to explain to your children because they can physically see what happens. The marshmallow is not here. Jesus was not there. He was resurrected. So a beautiful explanation. Enjoy making your resurrection empty tomb rolls. They're very tasty, very yummy, very sweet, just like Jesus. Um, so enjoy making your rolls. It's a, lot, a nice bonding time with your children as a family. So from the bottom of our hearts, from our family to yours, we wish you all Kalia Anastasia.